I know it's July, but I'm kind of getting excited for Halloween. If you saw my recent podcast episode, you know that I didn't really decorate for Halloween in the past. I'm a big Christmas person and the idea of decorating for Halloween and then taking it all down and immediately putting up Christmas decorations was kind of overwhelming to me. I like Halloween. I always like do Halloween events. I like to watch a lot of scary movies and I make Halloween cookies, but I've never actually decorated my home. So this year I've been delving a little into other YouTubers that do Halloween decor hunting and I've got the bug. I am so into it and I'm getting really excited about it. So I'm definitely going to decorate my home for Halloween this year. I read a couple things already that again, if you saw my podcast, you will have seen for a couple crafts I have coming up, but I'll talk about those. And then I also have a list of things that I would like to buy in order to do my Halloween decorations. Something that I did mention on that podcast was that I'm trying to be smart about this and purposefully buy or craft decorations that are going to go in the spots that I know my regular Christmas decorations go. That way I don't have to put up and take down command hooks in different spots because I know where my Christmas decor goes because I've done it so many times. So I can purposefully create Halloween decor that goes in the same spot and then kind of knock out two birds with one stone. One of the things that I already mentioned on the podcast was that I've been really into alt knots lately and she is did and has done before a bunch of fleece blankets where you kind of perforate around the edges and then make a crochet border. And that's kind of an option that I always forget exists. It's really cool and I'm excited to do it because it's a neat crochet project, but it's not like crocheting an entire blanket. It's just kind of doing the border at the edge. So that was very appealing to me. I got two different fleeces. My initial idea was to make it double-sided and do this kind of fall plaid on one side and this jack-o'-lantern on the other. I'm not sure if I'm going to go with that. It might be too thick. It might not. I might make two blankets. I guess we'll see what happens. Um, again, it's still July. I don't plan on putting any of this up until at the earliest September. So I've got about a month to make all my crafts and get everything organized and then I'll show you how it looks when I put it all up. Another thing that I've previously bought and already showed on my podcast is this fabric which I think is so pretty and spooky at the same time. Uh, I really dig this like skull fall cobweb print I bought this thinking I will make a table runner out of it and I think I still might but then since then I saw a really cool like mantle runner and I thought it would be very neat to do one that's got kind of uneven edges where I could go through and kind of cut around some of the pattern and and hem it but then also do a neat like crochet border around it to make it look kind of cobwebby and spooky uh, and I think that would really pop on the mantle in my home. So that's something to look into. So I have ideas for a couple decor pieces that I want because I want everything to be really easy. Again, my focus is kind of making my home, you know, decorated and thematic, but also stuff that's easy to take down and put away when Christmas comes. So I don't have too much work with the take down and replace with Christmas. So I'm focusing mainly on like tabletop decor and table runners and like little stuff like that. So a couple things that I know I want for tabletop decor is one, a Halloween themed candle holder. We always have a jar candle on our coffee table. So I think that's a really easy way to kind of like make that seasonal. I also really want to do like a Halloween flower, flower arrangement, like floral arrangement. And I want to do that myself. Uh, I had that idea. And then I remembered I have this vase in my house. Um, had this sitting around for a while. It was actually from a funeral arrangement that was sent to us, which is, you know, appropriately macabre for a Halloween thing. We're not religious people. I'm never going to use this just to hold flowers in. So I thought it would be kind of cool. I know that they make spray paints and I might even have some in my house already that kind of look like stone. They have like texture and they're gritty and they look like stone. So I thought if I spray paint this, it would kind of look like a gravestone or like a headstone, which would be very spooky and in a perfectly appropriate place to put some Halloween themed stems in. 
I also am excited to make a garland. We have a big picture window in the front of our house and I always put a Christmas garland over it. So I know those command hooks are gonna be there and I have a cool idea to make a kind of spider webby crochet garland that I'm gonna put there. So that's something that I need to pick up supplies for. I'm excited to go search for Halloween decor and check these different stores and see what they have available and also just kind of build up my collection a little bit. I have a huge collection of Christmas decorations that I love and that I've been amassing for quite a while, but I have zero Halloween decorations. I'm starting from scratch. So it's a really cool kind of blank canvas for me to get started on. So I'm gonna go later today and have a look at a couple stores and hopefully I can kind of find some pieces I like and get started on my collection, although I do have a month to piece everything together. Uh, anyway, I'll take you with me because I'm going to go check a couple stores and we'll see what we find. All right, I'm here at Bath and Body Works. I'm going to check because I know that they're big for Halloween stuff. Um, I have a couple coupons that expire at the end of the week, so that's why I'm coming out so early. It's the end of July and I'm not going to put up my stuff for at least another month but I might as well have a look and use my coupons while I'm here. And this plaza also has a Michaels, which I know I need some stuff from. So I'll go there and I'll check home goods while I'm here too. All right, so I had some success at Bath & Body Works, way more than I expected, and I've, there was a lot at Home Goods. Um, I'm going to grab a coffee and head home and show you what I got. I found some stuff. So, like I said in the car, I went to Bath & Body Works because I know that that's like a big stop for people that do Halloween decor and know a lot about it. But before I went, I had kind of peeked online and looked at what they had, and I didn't think I was actually gonna find anything. Um, I had hoped I could find a candle holder there, but I didn't like the ones that they showed on their website. And I didn't even get any candles because they weren't on sale right now. But I had a couple coupons, like the free item coupons. One of them expired this week, so I wanted to go use those up. And I did find one thing. I found a candle holder, and I'm very excited about it. Um, I almost didn't even spot it, but I love this like sparkly, spooky spiders. This is perfect. This is exactly what I want. I think as far as my Halloween decor, I'm going to kind of go with spiders and skeletons and pumpkins and jack-o'-lanterns. Um, those are the, the Halloween things that I lean towards liking the most. I'm not so into the like witches or the ghost sheet sheet ghosts whatever they are but i do love spiders and like the uh the spider webs you know everything that comes with them and i, I like the spooky skeleton thing as you can see on the fabric that i bought so i did get some other stuff at, at bath and body works but it's all just like the air freshener refills and lotion and things that are not halloween um, I'll skip ahead. Michael's I went last, but I'll show you this now because they had nothing Halloween. I was very disappointed. They had some Thanksgiving stuff. They had some fall stuff. And mainly what I wanted to go there for, what I knew I needed, was felt, which I got uh, because I want to make that garland to go over my window in the living room. Um, and I knew I wanted to get some felt for that. So I did. Uh, but I also wanted to get stems, the Halloween stems to make the flower arrangement that I was talking about, and they had zero Halloween stems. They have it on their website, but I guess they just haven't gotten it into that store yet. I guess I could check another one because I think we have like three or four Michaels around here, but I wasn't going to make another stop today. I'd already, it was late and I already made a bunch. Uh, but I did find this cool clearance little wooden yarn ball that I can stick in my yarn room and just a basket planter on clearance also. Unrelated, but cute. But Home Goods had a lot. I took some footage in there so you can see it, but they had 
so much stuff. They had like two aisles and a bunch of end caps and a bunch more stuff on the checkouts like they usually do. And it was so much Halloween. There was more aisles even of fall and some Thanksgiving stuff. And some of that was even intermingled with the Halloween stuff. Um, they had whole separate sections in the candles for Halloween and then like kitchen for Halloween. Overwhelming to me. Uh, I looked at a lot of it. While I was looking, I even heard one of the employees talking about how she's already so sick of Halloween because she has to rearrange so many stuff to try to f like fit in all of the Halloween products that they already have, which is kind of funny. But I picked out a couple things. Again, I'm going mostly for tabletop decor and then um, the couple items that I talked about, like a garland, and I got my candle holder, my flower arrangement, maybe a wreath for the door. I saw some really nice Halloween wreaths today that I liked, but I didn't want to spend as much as they were priced. But for now, I just got a couple tabletop things. I got this book. It's like a hollow book box. It's got the spider on the front and says Happy Halloween, and the spine even has it like a title. And I thought this would be really cute on my center table and my entryway to like stage some stuff on. Really like that. That was $9.99. I found this set of pumpkins. Let me open it up so I can show you what they look like. And it's from Martha Stewart, and I just love Martha Stewart. So I'm in. It's a six pack. And they're just these little pumpkins to set around the house. I like them. I, I like that they're a little bit rustic and I'm leaning more into the spooky and less into the cutesy elements of it. So one of the things that I know I really want to find is like an LED light up jack-o-lantern. Um, preferably one that like flickers, like there's a candle in it. But everything I saw today was a little bit too cutesy. They all look so happy. Like, who wants a happy jack-o'-lantern? No, I'm just kidding. I know what I want. Uh, I want a spookier, creepier one. I got myself a little coffee mug. Like I was saying about my Christmas decorations, I have a whole seasonal routine and I do have Christmas coffee mugs that I use and that I put away every year. And I thought, well, I need at least one Halloween mug. And then this one just caught my eye. It's so adorable. <laughs> it's like kind of creepy little troop of black cats sitting on top of pumpkins. I love that. You know I like black cats and uh, I just thought this was so adorable and it's my favorite kind of mug which is like a, an oversized mug that's not too heavy. I really hate when mugs are like very heavy without the liquid in them even and this one's perfect for me. The last thing I found at Home Goods today is my favorite. Again, I'm going for tabletop decor and I found this glittery raven on a skull. This is a very large raven, I think. Maybe not. Compared to this head, are ravens usually larger than a human head? Maybe. Maybe I'm not very aware of what ravens are. But the eyes are sparkly too. I really love this. I think this is perfect. This is the exact type of Halloween decor I'm going for. I was very pleased to see this. And this was $7.99. I forgot to mention that the pumpkins were $12.99 for the six pack. All right, thanks for coming with me today. And I'm definitely gonna check out a few more stores. Not today, but soon. And also get to crafting my Halloween crafts. So I'm gonna try again. Um, I'm just leaving work for the day. I'm gonna stop at a bigger home goods that's a little farther away. And there's a Christmas tree shops on the way. And then if I have any energy left, I might try at home. But that one's in the mall and I feel like I'm gonna be a little bit drained after the first two. But I guess we'll see what happens. I will see you at Christmas tree shops. Okay, so they had no Halloween, unsurprisingly. We had a little bit of fall and some Christmas, which is dumb. Uh, I did get this basket. 
full of stuff, mostly dog toys and snacks. Entirely of dog toys and snacks. Uh, do I need another basket? Yes, don't ask me that again. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go to Home Goods now. That one really didn't have that much. Uh, I thought, I think this one's a bigger footprint than the other one I went to, and it doesn't share the store with Marshalls, but they really didn't have that much Halloween. I mean, they had a lot of stuff, but they didn't have that much Halloween, um, or certainly not as much as the one that I went to the other day. But I did get these little dish towels, kitchen towels. I think they're so cute. And the strawberry mug I found that is adorable, but not Halloween. So this store is enormous and I've never been here before, so I wasn't really sure where to go, but luckily they put these uh, jack-o'-lanterns way up high. Oh my goodness. I kind of never went to at home before because I suspected I would have this reaction. Uh, it's incredible, and I kind of want to go spend a whole day looking through everything in there, but I don't have time today. Um, gotta get home to my dogs. So I looked through the Halloween stuff pretty thoroughly. I found some cool stuff. I'm gonna go home and take care of my dogs right now, and then I will recap with you guys after I'm done. So that was really fun. Um... I didn't see as much as I saw the other day, but at home was so cool. And I'm definitely going to make a point of actually going there soon to actually look at more stuff. But I thought I'd show you the couple things that I did get. Um, I already showed you these in the car, but I got the cute little dish towels from Home Goods, And of course, my new strawberry mug. I am so delighted with this. I can't even tell you. I know it has nothing to do with Halloween, but you know, strawberries, I just, there are no words. Okay, but everything I got at home is Halloween. Um, firstly, I had seen this online and I hope they would have it. Just a little light up jack-o'-lantern. It doesn't have a test to see what the lights look like. So if it's not like flickery, spooky enough, I'll probably just put like a different, um, electric tea light in there or something, but I guess we'll see what it looks like. I got this cool candle, which looks like stacked skulls and it's uh, black. And then I just got some taper candles. I got these ones that look like candy corn. I think it's so cute. And um, these which are so cool. This is probably the thing I'm most excited about. And maybe everybody that's been super into Halloween decor forever is gonna be so over it and know about these, but I'm thrilled because these are bleeding candles. <laughs> um, the wax on the inside is red. So when you light them as they burn down, they uh, start dripping red wax instead of the black that's on the outside. And I contemplated getting more, I don't know, maybe if we, burn through these. I'll go back for some more, but I just think they're so cool and so spooky. Okay, that's it for today. You happy I'm home? So I just got back from another Halloween shopping trip. It was kind of impromptu. We went to a baseball game today, if you can't tell. I'm leaving the hat on because I have hat hair and I don't feel like fixing it. Uh, but I convinced my husband to stop at Home Goods on the way back because there are three Home Goods in our area. I had already checked two and I kind of wanted to have a go look at the last one. So we went, I found a bunch of stuff. I'm really excited. 
But I did also get a couple things on Amazon that have come in the meantime, so I thought I would show those before I show my home goods stuff. And I think I'm just about done buying things for now. I have a couple more things. I'll talk about that at the end. But from Amazon, I got a four pack of like just pillow covers to cover our regular couch cushions. Um, they're all different. Oops, maybe I can find a picture of the set on Amazon to show you what all four look like, but they're just these kind of spooky uh, old fashioned writing. I don't know, I like them. And that'll kind of help add a spooky atmosphere to the, the pillows that we already have. I got, I'm not taking these out of the plastic, but they're just like fall leaves, but lights, like kind of Christmas twinkle lights, except fall themed. And these, which I'm excited about, I found these on Amazon and then the next day I found them at Home Goods. Not the one I went to today, but the one I showed last time um, for about the same price. But uh, <laughs> so these are LED candles. It's a set of three and they do feel waxy like real candles, which I love. Uh, and I just think they're perfectly spooky and they kind of match the themes that I'd already set up. Like I said, I'm doing mostly skeletons and spiders and jack-o'-lanterns and we do have a couple like raven birds already. So they fit, fit in perfectly. And that's all I got from Amazon. Home Goods today, I found a couple things that I was actually looking for and a couple cute things that I wasn't expecting. Um, firstly, I bought this kind of oversized haunted house uh, couch cushion. I think it's so cute. There was a couple different haunted house ones and I asked my husband who was already kind of grouchy about being at Home Goods, which was his favorite and he chose this one, which is good because it was also my favorite. Um, but I really like it and I love it. It kind of makes me think of I mean, obviously haunted houses, but we're big fans of Hill House and it makes me kind of think of that atmosphere. I found a little candelabra, which I had been hoping to find. I looked all over Home Goods for one, didn't see one, and then I found this one at the checkout where they hide a bunch of extra stuff. It is glittery and it's got this like, uh, I think this one's a crow or a, a well, the other one's a raven, but I, I'm not sure about this one. But it's all covered in black glitter, just like our other raven statue that I showed from the first Home Goods I went to. And I think I'm going to end up going back to at home and get a couple more of the um, bleeding taper candles. I thought about getting several while I was there and I talked myself out of it and I wish I hadn't. So I'm going to go back to at home at some point and get more taper candles because they were a good price and I really think that the bleeding ones are a cool spooky touch. I found this little guy who is just a little ceramic. I thought you could put a candle in it, but I don't think it'll really fit, but it doesn't matter. I think it's a nice touch. Again, I'm building up my Halloween decorations from scratch, so I don't have any little trinkets like this guy to set around, so it's a good, it's just a little, a little touch, you know? I found another table runner. I'm still gonna make the one out of the fabric I bought, but we have a table in our kitchen that has a couple small appliances on it, and it's got a table runner underneath it and I thought, wouldn't it be nice to add a spooky table runner underneath? And I found this shiny jack-o'-lantern one and I'm going to uh, grab a piece of black fabric from my stash to put underneath it because we actually do want to protect the table and this is very holy, as you can see, so it's not going to protect much, uh, but I'll put this on top of the black fabric and I think it will be perfect. And... The last thing I got was a candy bowl because I wanted a nice Halloween dedicated candy bowl. In the past I've just used like a black mixing bowl that I have, but I really like this one. Most of the candy bowls I've seen are kind of cutesy. They're all like Mickey Mouse or Coco, you know, or like Disney properties. But this one is a little cute, but also suitably spooky. Pumpkins and cobwebs and It'll fit in, I think. Also, this is enormous. I'm gonna have to buy more candy than normal, which is stupid because we don't get a lot of trick-or-treaters, and I don't really wanna eat it all myself, but I really like the bowl, so we're gonna go with it.
cool. So that's everything I got so far. Um, I'm really loving the little collection I've built right now. I still have to craft all of the things that I've decided to craft. I'm gonna do at least one garland out of the felt and I'm gonna try to like crochet a little cobweb to connect all the little felt uh, bits that I'm gonna make. I want to do the floral arrangement with that funeral vase that I talked about. I want to make the table runner, hopefully a mantle scarf, and the crochet fleece blankets. So I have a bunch of crafts coming up. I'm going to put those in their own video because it's going to take some time to put together and I want to put this out sooner rather than later. Um, and as far as things I still want to purchase, I need to purchase floral uh, picks to build my little cemetery floral arrangement that I'm making. and. I also want to get uh, some more Bath and Body Works stuff. I didn't actually buy any scents because when I was there, the three wick candles were not on sale and they didn't have the scents I wanted in the single wick candles. So I'm going to get a couple of fall candles from them. And I did want to swap out our regular plug-in air freshener for one of the seasonal ones from them. So I'm probably going to also get one of the Halloween themed uh, wallflower plugs and uh, some scents to go in it. And then I'm sure at Christmas time, I'll end up getting like a Christmas wallflower to put there as well. So a couple more things, but I can probably just follow up about those in the craft video. So I hope you enjoyed all of my little Halloween shopping trips. I'm getting very excited about my new Halloween decor hobby. And let me know what you do for Halloween in the comments. If you're not subscribed, please do because I'm going to be doing the follow-up Halloween videos, but also I do all sorts of craft videos the rest of the time, and I'm sure I'll be doing some holiday ones after the Halloween season is sadly over. So for now, we're just ramping up. Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video, and I hope to see you next time.